Hello everyone, my name is Jennifer and welcome to Best Kept Plans. Today's video is going to be a book haul. We're going to be looking through all of the books that I purchased or was sent so far in 2024. If you're interested in seeing that, please stick around. As I said in my introduction, this video is going to be a look at all of the books that I've either received or purchased so far in 2024. We have quite a few books to go through, but I will be honest, there was more that I had already just kind of put into my bookshelves and I was just too lazy to pull them back out again. I'm actually using this video, filming this video as motivation to take all of these books and put them into my bookshelves after filming this. So. We'll see if that actually happens. I'm trying to do this fairly quickly, but I definitely wanna at least comment on the majority of these books. The first four books that I'm gonna be sharing with you all are not technically a series, I don't think, but they kind of match each other. And I actually purchased these for myself as a birthday gift. My birthday was on March 1st, and I really wanted to get into this author a little bit more this year and I saw these on Blackwell and needed to purchase them because they were just so pretty. And that is Midwinter Murder by Agatha Christie. Oh, I'm realizing the light's gonna kinda be funky, but uh, Sinister Spring by Agatha Christie. Midsummer Mysteries by Agatha Christie. And then Autumn Chills by Agatha Christie. I feel like the covers are absolutely stunning. They all have the same home on the front, but just how it would look in different seasons, which I thought was really cute. And I thought it would be fun to travel with Agatha Christie through the seasons, basically. The next few books I ended up getting from a small bookstore that's near one of the offices where I work. And because of the way the light shining through, I'm gonna to try to hold the books over here. That way the covers don't get too distorted. The first one is The Writing Retreat by Julia Bartz. I have seen this so many times, so many places. I've heard good things about it and I am always down for a mystery thriller. So it was finally time to pick this one up. Next, we have one that I actually purchased because a gal that I follow on Instagram, she said she absolutely loved this book and that was all I needed to decide to go out and purchase it and that is The Book That Wouldn't Burn by Mark Lawrence. I believe this is a series and the second book just recently came out so it'll be fun if I really enjoy this one to be able to dive right into the second book in the series. The next was a book of poetry. I've not read anything from this author before but his novel is on my 24 books in 2024 reading challenge and I do believe he writes more poetry than anything else and so I decided to pick up Time is a Mother by Ocean Vong. And then the last book that I picked up from that little independent bookstore was A Ninth House by Lee Bardugo. I just thought this would be an interesting read. I've heard it's really good. I know it is a series. We'll see how I feel about it. The next book is one that I did pick up myself. I picked this up intentionally because in 2024, I want to try to read more nonfiction. It is Atomic Habits by James Clear. The reason I did decide to pick this up is because I've just heard really good things about it. And I feel like I appreciate the idea of building good habits and breaking bad habits. And I think that I'm curious to see if the advice that I get in here actually changes my day to day. Next, we have one that I picked up not too long ago. It's a newer release, and that is Bride by Allie Hazelwood. I love Allie Hazelwood. I've loved all the books I've read by her. I just recently read Left Theoretically, and I think after reading that and the high of reading that and really enjoying that, this book had just come out, so I decided to pick it up. I know that this is more paranormal, definitely different from her other romances that she's had so far. So I'm very curious to see if I'm gonna like this one too because I just like her writing style or if it's more of the women in STEM romance format that I enjoy. The next two books that we're gonna talk about are by the same author. I picked up their newest release first. 
That is The Unmaking of June Farrow by Adrienne Young. I think this cover is stunning. I saw a couple people talk about it here on YouTube and they had really, really good things to say. So I was very curious to pick this up. And then after doing a little bit of research on this author, I did see that she had written this book, Spells for Forgetting, which I had heard about a bunch and knew the title of, but didn't realize it was the same author as The Unmaking of June Farrow. So I did end up deciding to pick this one up. I got this off Amazon for super, super cheap and hardcover, so it was definitely worth picking up. And then lastly is a book, lastly in this pile, I should say, is a book that I just recently purchased. It's been on my radar for a long, long time, and that is Tress of the Emerald Sea by Brandon Sanderson. I'm very curious and interested to give it a read. So next we have a series. This series is one that I knew I was going to end up purchasing because I have absolutely loved the other books I've read by this author. It is getting traditionally published. I didn't know what the new covers were going to look like and so I decided to pick it up in the covers that were available on Amazon just in case I didn't like the new covers. It is a series from Elsie Silver. We have the front runner, we have a photo finish, we have off to the races, and we have a false start. The new covers got released after I purchased them and I actually really like the traditionally published covers as well. Next is another one that I picked up because it did just recently get traditionally published and while I feel like the covers like color wise are very similar I do like this one better and that is Say You Swear by Megan Brandy. I have always seen this book around on YouTube and on Instagram and people really really like it. It seems like it's going to be a sports romance. I've always really enjoyed sports romance so I decided to pick it up with this original cover since I liked it better than the new cover. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this one. I just picked this one out because it just came out. I'm actually filming this towards the end of March. I think it's gonna post sometime in April. I'm pre-filming a lot of videos because I'm having surgery on April 1st. So yeah, pre-filming this for coming out in April. And this book just came out. I have already read this. I read this on my Kindle because I couldn't wait until it came out and I'm obsessed with it and I love it and it was a five star and that is Redeeming Six by Chloe Walsh which is the fourth book in the Boys of Tommen series. I love this book. I loved, I've loved all of the Boys of Tommen books. They are all five star reads for me. I cannot wait until Taming Seven comes out in April. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. So yeah, I had to pick this up. I think the cover is gorgeous. So this next book is the second book in a series. I am actually waiting on a call from the bookstore to let me know that my copy of the first book is in. I wanted it in hardcover and they didn't have it anymore so they ordered it for me. I wanted it in hardcover because if this series is going to continue they're all going to be coming out in hardcover first and I want them all to match. But the second book in the series is Everyone on This Train is a Suspect by Benjamin Stevenson. And I heard so many good things about everyone in my family has killed someone that I knew I wanted to pick it up and I knew I wanted to make a go at this series. Next we have a book that I was gifted a review copy of. I'm going to be honest, I have been putting this off. I've been putting reading this book off because I know it's going to make me emotional. I do not think I've been in this in the place to read a super emotional story. Hopefully soon I will be. And that is The Women by Kristen Hanna. I have heard wonderful things about this. I think the cover is gorgeous. I also got a really cute tote bag with that and I don't have it here. It's in my car because I use it all the time now. I absolutely love it. The next one is a book that I purchased myself. This is actually one of my most anticipated reads of 2024 and that is A Tempest of Tea by Hafsa Faisal. I just fell in love with this cover. It's giving me like old timey vibes, tea, it's giving me heist and I love that and I want that in my life. So had to pick this up. Next we have a book that I was gifted a an arc of. This one comes out in June and that is Past, Present, Future by Rachel Lynn Solomon. I read Today, Tonight, Tomorrow which is the first book in this series and 
it was cute i enjoyed it i don't know if this book is picking up where the last left off or if this is the same story told from a different perspective because we only got one perspective in the first book but i am definitely very curious to give it a read because i ended up enjoying the first one it was fun next we have a book that i received an arc from this also comes out in june and it is called Running Close to the Wind by Alexandra Rowland. I believe this is like a pirate romance. At least it looks it from the front cover. That's all I know about this. It looks like it's about a pirate and I believe it is a romance and we'll see. We'll see how that one goes. Next we have an arc. This is coming out in March. So when you see this, this will already have been released. And this book is Dancing in the Shallows by Claire Redaway. I love the cover of this. It looks so pretty and it does have in the front I saw people were going to meet and so it almost looks like it's going to be like a multi-generational story which I'm down for and yeah we'll see. We'll see what this one is like. Next we have an arc. I'm actually really excited for this one. So this comes out May 28th, 2024. I listened to this author's last release on audiobook and really really liked it so getting this arc was super fun if something happens to me by alex finley hoping that i really enjoy what this one again and i'm always in a mystery thriller mood but i feel like i've been really into mystery thriller lately so yeah these two are both ones that i purchased this is a book of poetry. I really enjoy reading poetry, kind of mixing up reading novels with poetry. And I've never read anything by this poet before, but I thought the cover was beautiful. And this is Clarity and Connection by Jung Pueblo. So definitely interested and intrigued to give this a read. Next, we have another one that I, I again purchased myself. This is Ready or Not by Cara Bastone. I'm obsessed with the cover of this. It's gorgeous. It's giving me full on spring vibes. I want to read it this spring. Hopefully I'll get to it. It's a romance. It looks cute and I'm very excited about it. Next, we have one that I received an arc of, but I also got the advanced listening copy through neck alley so it'll be exciting to kind of listen and read along and this book is when we were silent by fiona mcphillips i love this cover i think this cover is gorgeous i'm getting mystery thriller vibes from it i hope that i'm right we'll see if i am the next one is another one that i have the physical arc of but i did also get the advanced listening copy through neck alley and this one is every time we say goodbye by natalie jenner this one comes out on may 14th i this looks like it would be historical fiction to me i don't know if i'm right in that or wrong in that but it looks historical fiction very excited to read that one Next we have one, I know nothing about this. This one is called Honey and it is by Isabel Banta. It's giving me 90s vibes. I don't know if I'm right or not. An addictive coming of age story that follows the meteoric rise of pop star Amber Young as she navigates fame and self-discovery in the late 1990s and early 2000s. Yeah, yep, for sure. I feel like I'm gonna really like this because that is, that is my youth. That is my youth. <laughs> Next, this one, I don't know. I think this might be middle grade. This was sent to me as an arc. It comes out in August, August 27th. And it, it, it got a little damaged in transit, but it's called Not Nothing by Gail Foreman. And it just looks so pretty. Uh, the cover is gorgeous. Excited to give this a read. Just a few more left, I swear. The next one is a collection of short stories. This was sent to me by Simon, Simon and & Schuster and it is called Bugsy and Other Stories by Raphael Frumkin. I hope I'm saying that right. The sun is really getting all up in my girl now. I'm excited to give it a read. Next we have, I believe this is a mystery thriller. It looks like it from the cover. The cover is quite intriguing. It's called Bye Baby by Caroline Lovering. That's just a very intriguing cover. Like I wanna know what this book is about. If you've read it, please let me know if you enjoyed it because I'm excited to pick it up at some point. And the last book, 
the last book that we are going to talk about is one that I was sent from St. Martin's and I have, I have been eyeing this book since this book came out. I think the cover is absolutely stunning and I just never got around to picking it up and then it must have just come out in paperback and so they ended up sending it to me and that is Wayward by Amelia Hart. I mean, I love that cover. That cover is gorgeous and for this paperback version, I don't think you're going to be able to see it but it has like some reflective kind of foiled bits on the cover. It's beautiful. I believe this is, oh yeah, they call us witches, we call ourselves Wayward. I'm in for a witchy tale. I feel like that would be super fun. So excited to give this a read. Hoping to pick this one up sooner rather than later, actually. And that is it. <laughs> that is it for my book haul. These are books, again, that I either purchased or received in January, February, and March. I purchased way more books than I realized in the last three months. Kind of scary. And I need to not purchase so many books anymore, I think. Yeah, I think I should go on like a buying freeze for a little bit, except for new releases because there's a bunch coming out in April. But anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If any of these books are ones that you have read, let me know down in the comments below. I'm always curious to see what you all think about books that I talk about, spoiler free, of course. And yeah, as always, everyone, please be safe. Bye-bye.